Hey guys, hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a monthly newsletter for your business in Go High Level. So, making a newsletter and sending it will be a manual process, which will include creating the email or the newsletter email in the email builder in Go High Level. So, I haven't really covered that bit yet in my channel, which I wish to do today. So if we go to marketing from any of our sub accounts, which will be your uh, business sub account, you will find email templates. So you need to go to email templates and then create a template. And uh, so you need to do it using design editor. Don't use um, the code editor because that includes uh, coding in order to create the newsletter email. So I'm going to call it May newsletter 2024. Uh, the reason I'm naming it like this is because you can create the template, you can create the newsletter itself for May 2024, and then you can just duplicate it for June, duplicate it for July, you know, the, so the layout stay the same. You can just change the content in it. And by content, I mean literally the, the text, the links, and the images. That's all. That's all you need to change. So you can just uh, either do, do it like this, or... You, what you could do is uh, you could just delete this and you could create email marketing templates so you can create you can create your own template from these templates so go high level has got a lot of templates so i'm going to choose marketing go with any of these so maybe I'll, I'll use this one this one looks uh a bit like how i want it so i'll add this template and now i'm going to call it may newsletter 2024 and here i need to just change my logo okay that's my logo i'm gonna say may or june to 2024 and uh, let's start creating our newsletter so i'm gonna say here's uh here's what it looks like really so i'm gonna say hello family uh, let me copy this whole thing. And I can change the text indent from here. And you can also change the fonts uh, fonts here. So I will use a trebuchet. Maybe a bit smaller. Select it. And do 14. <clears throat> okay, now you can add new elements to it if you want. So I'll add a divider. Obviously, the divider has to be in a separate color. Okay. Uh, if you want, you could do red or yellow. Or maybe a custom color from your logo. So I'll use Microsoft Power Toys. grab the color of my logo okay now here's a another section for with text and uh, headline and image uh, sorry headline and text so I'll go like this I'll copy this whole thing all right this bit bold and now still need to change the text the font that's it all right cool and now if you want to add an image you can do it by going here select an image that's not the right image so i need to upload another one uh, Google Ads. All right. And then add another image by duplicating this. It will be a Facebook ad. I mean, you can do whatever you want with it in terms of designing the layout. But I'm just showing you what different kinds of stuff you could do with it. And then you could literally just copy this whole section, clone it, and I'll uh, delete this. And I will just... Uh, copy this section again all 
right bold and now i will get rid of one of these images and change this image of course that's it so that these are my top two sections again i'll copy i'll clone this section what's the next one exciting news i move to the uk so no need to add an image to it but okay cool and uh you get the idea there's another section i'll just literally copy this then this see how fast i can create it because the builder is really smooth and uh it's really simple in terms of creating emails you don't have to complicate stuff like uh you know do all those complex designs what we do in wordpress design so just get rid of all these sections okay cool 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 you can add your latest blogs as well but i'm not gonna do it all right cool and uh, stay connected so i'll co copy this again okay Need to put the links here so i'll just copy this youtube link put it so you can add buttons as well if you like so I'll, I'll get rid of these maybe i'll clone this section again get rid of this and i'll add come on so I'll, i've added uh, a two column layout where i'll add two buttons so this is the first button youtube channel this is my youtube channel link and the youtube channel uh, will be in red so i'll do red okay and then i can literally copy this and put it over here say facebook page copy this put the link here for this button change the text color to sorry change the button color to something else which is blue and uh, if you want you can add your own colors in the footer so i'll, I'll copy my brand color that's my brand color if i want to change the entire background color i can do so by doing it here okay copyright location name that's fine our mailing addresses that's fine okay that all looks good and now save template so there we go there we have our own monthly newsletter template that we can use every month just literally change the content of it and uh you know just change the content change the images that's it that's all you need to do and uh if we want to preview it you can do so by doing it here so you can have a desktop preview how it looks but mostly people we know that people are gonna browse from mobile so see how it looks on mobile really decent i'm really happy with it uh and then yeah almost no one will visit it from tab but anyway so when we complete creating the creating the newsletter all you need to do is just go to contacts and select all the contacts or just select the contacts you want to send this new newsletter to by filtering out you just select them and then send email okay proceed email templates here you need to select the newsletter email so this will be me this will be my email and then uh monthly newsletter or here is my monthly newsletter for may and if there's a lot of contacts just send in drip mode you will have to 
specify a batch quantity so this newsletter email gets sent to 100 people uh, at once and then this process will be repeated every 30 minutes and that's actually a part of warming up your emails uh so you can send it from let's say 12 30. it's a good time to send newsletters and then send email that's it that's all you need to do to send the newsletter email guys that's not really complicated but because you have to do the content yourself you might as well do it manually no need to think about creating a complicated workflow to send automated uh, automated newsletters every month i think i prefer this this method of sending newsletters i do it for other businesses as well and i think you should do it as um, you should do it for your business too so i hope this video was helpful and if you like this video please subscribe to the channel and i will see you in the next one thank you mm -hmm.